All right, this is going to be dosage problems part two using the Davidson pie chart. Um, these ones will be a little more complicated. You'll be adding extra layers. You'll be doing more than just the Davidson pie chart. It'll be a little more complicated. Um, if you haven't watched part one, try watching it first. I'll preface my video. I always do. I claim no ownership to any of the questions or material presented in this video, uh, as I have sourced it from the open internet. In the following slides, I will, with the best of my knowledge, answer these questions properly using the proper formulas. This is a study guide for me. I'm making it, helping me learn by making it. If it helps you too, that'll be great. All right, question number one. A plant is treating water at 72.3 million gallons a day. If lime is being added at a rate of 1,645.94 grams per minute, what is the lime usage in pounds per day and the dosage in milligrams per liter? So these are a little bit more complicated than the uh, part one. We'll start with our knowns and our unknowns. So what we know is that the flow is 72.3 million gallons a day. The dosage rate currently is 1,645.94 grams per minute. What we don't know is the pounds per day or the milligrams per liter. So to get milligrams per liter, we're going to have to start with pounds per day. So let's solve for pounds per day. So pounds per day is the grams a minute times 1,440 minutes in a day, and one pound is equal to 454 grams. So this is from the Florida distribution and water treatment formula conversion table. We have your one pound, 454 grams, and you have your one day, 1,440 minutes. To get this equation started, we have the 1,645.94 grams times the 1,440 minutes in a day to get it to days. And then to eliminate the grams, you have to divide and they'll cancel out to get pounds. Do the math. It's 5,220.60 pounds per day. Now that can go on our known column, and we can solve for dosage because we now know the pounds per day, and we have the million gallons, and we're solving for dosage. So 5,220.6 pounds per day divided by 72.3 MGD times 8.34 pounds a gallon. Make sure you do the math on the bottom first. There's a top and a bottom division. Otherwise, you get the wrong answer. Your answer is going to be 8.66 milligrams per liter. During normal operation, a pump delivers 225 gallons per minute to the system. What should the chlorine feed rate be in pounds per day if the desired dose is 2.0 milligrams per liter? As always, start with your known and your unknown. We have 225 gallons per minute and a dose of 2.0 milligrams per liter. What we don't know is the pounds per day or the flow in million gallons a day. To solve for the flow per day, do 1,440 minutes in a day, that's the gallons per minute, So 1,440 minutes in a day times the 225 gallons per minute. And that gives you a flow of 324,000 gallons per day. Convert the 324,000 gallons per day to a million gallons a day. We're going to divide it by 1 million gallons. 
So now your knowns, you know your 0.324 million gallons a day, you know your two milligrams a liter, and you're still looking for pounds a day. The pounds per day is equal to 0.324 million gallons a day times two milligrams a liter times 8.34 pounds a gallon. You get 5.40 pounds per day. All right, question number three. A treatment plant is treating 24.2 million gallons a day with a 64% calcium hypochlorite solution. The dosage is 1.25 milligrams per liter. If the flow rate is reduced to 17.8 million gallons a day and the dosage is also reduced to 1.20 milligrams per liter, how many pounds per day of sodium hypochlorite are needed for the new flow rate? All right, so this question has given us a lot of information. And as always, we need to find our knowns and our unknowns. And more importantly, what the important ones are. This question is asking how many pounds per day of sodium hypochlorite are needed for the new flow rate. So the new flow rate was 17.8 million gallons a day, and the dosage for that new flow rate was reduced to 1.20 milligrams per liter, and the purity is 64%. So the original flow rate of 24.2 and the dosage of 1.25 are no longer needed because we're answering the question for the new flow rate and it wants the pounds per day. And pounds per day is a million gallons a day times the dosage of milligrams per liter times 8.34 pounds per gallon. You plug all that in, you do your math, and you get an answer of 178.14 pounds per day. But remember, this is at 100% purity. So to solve for purity, we are going to divide, because we're solving for above, above you divide by 64% as a decimal. 178.14 pounds per day divided by 0.64. And that's going to give you an answer of 278.3 pounds per day of the 64% calcium hypochlorite solution. Question number four. Water from a well is being treated with a 5% sodium hypochlorite solution. The hypochlorinator is pumping at a rate of 33.6 gallons per day. What is the chlorine dosage in milligrams per liter if the well is producing 325 gallons per minute? Assume the hypochlorite solution is 8.34 pounds per gallon. So this is another big word problem. As always, start with what you know and what you don't know. All right, the things we know is that the hypochlorinator is pumping at 33.6 gallons per day. The well is producing 325 gallons per minute. And the solution of sodium hypochlorite is at 5% solution. What we don't know is the milligrams per liter or the million gallons per day. We also don't know the pounds per day. We'll have to solve for that as well. First, we're gonna solve for million gallons per day. So we're gonna do your pumping rate times 1,440 minutes in a day divided by a million. 325 gallons per minute times 1,440 minutes in a day gets us divided by a million. Point four six eight MGD, so that becomes a known. Place that. We're going to solve for the pounds per day of chlorine. Formula for that is the hyphen chlorinator flow gallons per day 
times the percent of so hydrochloride solution times 8.34 pounds per gallon. 33.6 gallons per day times the 5% of hydrochloride solution times 8.34 divided by 100. 1,401.12 divided by 100. You get 14.01 pounds per day of chlorine. That becomes our known. So now we know the pounds per day. We know the million gallons per day. We don't know our dosage in milligrams per liter. Back to our days and pie chart. 14.01 pounds per day divided by 0.468 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds a gallon. 14.01 divided by 3.90. Your answer is 3.59 milligrams per liter. So the questions start to get trickier the more you add into them, or you got to figure out where you can get to the end. Question five. A two foot diameter pipe that is 3.2 miles long was disinfected with chlorine. If 82.9 pounds of chlorine were used, what was the dosage in milligrams per liter? Again, we're going to start with our known or unknowns. What we know is the diameter of the pipe is two feet, the distance of the pipe is 3.2 miles, and we dosed with pounds of 82.9 pounds. Uh, your unknown is your million gallons a day, milligrams per liter. So we're just using this Davidson pie chart to solve for dosage. First, we need to find the volume of water. So the volume for the cylinder uh, is 0.785 times diameter squared times the length in feet. All of this is in feet. Your answer is going to be cubic feet. So to get the length, you had 3.2 miles. Uh, there's 5,280 feet in a mile. That's going to give you the length of the pipe. Your diameter is two feet. It's already in feet, so you don't have to convert there. Your volume ends up being 53,050. 3.44 cubic feet. So we need to get this in a million gallons. We need to convert cubic feet to gallons. Uh, there are 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. Multiply that by the 53,053 cubic feet, which gives you 396,836 gallons. We'll turn that into million gallons. Divide that by a million, which gives you 0.396836 million gallons. So now we have our million gallons and our pounds. Um, we need to get our dose in milligrams per liter. So doses in milligrams per liter is equal to the pounds of chlorine divided by million gallons. It's not a flow in a day. You still have your total flow of a million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. That's the formula there. You plug everything in. Do the math on the bottom. 3.31. Divide 82.9 by 3.31. And you get a dose of 25.05 milligrams per liter. All right, that's just another quick five question guide. For part two, like I said, they start getting more and more complicated. I might put out more. I'm hoping on taking my test soon, but it doesn't mean that the studying ever stops because I'm going for my B. Someday I'll have to get my A. So hopefully this helps you.